I have Megan here to help out, and today we're going to look at a couple of exercises that I incorporate in our training regimen here at our school. Now these are a couple of exercises that I was introduced to after a knee injury when I was younger. It's something I struggled with uh, as far as overcoming it in my martial arts training. And as a result of that and of actually seeing several students through the years struggle with knee problems themselves, we've incorporated these exercises in our training routines. Like I said, I want to share them with you today. Now, what you're going to find when it comes to injury prevention protocols, you're, you're going to want to work on, whether it's lower body or upper body, a lot of stability training, teaching your muscles to, to stabilize your joint throughout a range of motion, uh, as well as proprioception, which is developing an awareness of your joint in space and again we're going to go through a range of motion with our exercises. The first one is actually going to be a little bit more stationary. I'm going to demonstrate you're going to stand on one leg and now lean forward and reach out and then stand back up. This is a hinge and you can do it two ways. So do that again. So we're leaning and we want to remain ra rather straight with the leg that we're standing on as we do this exercise. But again, we are working on stabilizing. We don't want the leg rotating in. We want to maintain proper alignment with our knee and our foot. And there's a second version really quick that I'm going to show you, which is you can bend down and touch the floor as you do it. And so that's the, the first exercise. Now, you can make this a little more interesting by adding a fitness ball into the mix. And she can lean forward and reach out with the ball and then stand up or she could reach down and touch the floor with the ball and again stand up. So that's the hinge. The next exercise is the single leg squat. Again on one leg. Now we're going to get a little bit more detailed here. So go ahead and squat down as you reach out. Yep. And that leg can kick out a little bit more behind you as you do so. So squat down. Now when she's squatting down, a couple of key components to this. If you don't pay attention to these things, not only are you going to uh, be doing the exercise wrong and, and not gaining the benefits of injury prevention, but you could cause an injury. And so, a couple of things. You want to make sure your knee is in line with your toes. You don't want it going out, and it looks like hers was rotating out a little bit. It's usually more common for people to rotate in, but both can happen. So you want to keep that alignment where your knee is straight in line with the toes, and you don't want your knee to go in front of the toes as you squat down. So that's part of the reason for this sort of stepping back so that as you lean forward a little bit, you want to push, just like if you're doing a regular squat, your butt kind of pushes back to give you that balance so that your knees aren't shifting forward. Okay, so we have the single leg squat and we have the hinge. Uh, now there's another way that we can do this that's really beneficial for injury prevention. And there's several different pieces of equipment we use, but I just want to introduce you to this today, which is a balance pad. And if you Google balance pads, this one is Airx balance pad. We've had it now for a decade. It's got a couple of tears in it, but it's really held up rather well. Uh, and this is going to be like standing on jello, although it's a little bit cold in here today. It feels kind of frozen, so I don't know. It might not be that difficult to stand on today. Uh, and so this is really going to start working that proprioception that we're talking about. Now she's going to have to stabilize to a much greater degree. Okay, so let's have you just do a single leg squat. Of course, you can do both of these on the balance pad. And so reach out and then in as you squat down. Go ahead. Okay, well she got through one without stumbling. I was actually surprised because this is really, really challenging even to some of the more advanced students and we haven't been doing it enough recently. So we're gonna have to start introducing this back into our training. Okay, so there's the balance pad. One final piece of equipment that you can use for this. So you can just leave the ball there and that is the cables. These sort of stretchy elastic cables which are great for many of these exercises. So grab on tight. We, we, we don't want this going into the wall. Um, both hands. And now do a hinge. So pull the cable in. And now lean forward and reach out. And again, work that stability. This is going to make it more challenging now that she has that tension that she's going to be working against. And especially with the squat, but both exercises, it's going to load the leg that you're standing on a little bit more. So the squat is going to have uh, a little bit more to it. So go ahead, one leg, do the hinge, bend forward, and then stand back up and go ahead, do a squat too. So we squat down and you feel a difference, right? As that's pulling. Now we could take, we're not going to do it because it's simple for you to infer how it would work, 
but we could take that balance pad, have her stand on the balance pad, and combine it with the cable, and then you got one heck of a challenging exercise, okay? But again, of course, when you're doing these, find something that you can hook them up to, but make sure you have good cables. We did this once with a cheaper brand, and it snapped. I had a buddy of mine actually using it years ago, more than a decade ago. We were doing a different exercise. It was attached to him, and the cable snapped and smacked him, and he was always a little bit apprehensive about these exercises after that moment. So make sure you have good quality cables. These are lifeline cables, um, and they've, they've served us well over the years. They, they last quite a while, and they're pretty durable. Um, so you're going to want something to hook it up to, and again, you want to make sure that that attachment is secure too, not just that, that you have good cables that won't snap, but you, like I said, make sure you have a secure attachment. Okay? All right, so there's just a couple of exercises for you as far as uh, injury prevention. We looked at the, the hinge, which will help develop hamstring strength, and it's going to help develop, both of these are going to help develop your stabilizers as far as single leg stability and that proprioception, that proprioceptive awareness. And we did the single leg squat, which is going to target the quadriceps a little bit more. Okay, so that'll be it for this tip. We'll come back in a future video and look at some other equipment that we use, as well as some additional exercises that we incorporate for injury prevention. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you soon. So grab on tight. We, we, we don't want this going into the wall. 